Now I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but 30 seconds of doing this simple drill every single day is the secret to a natural golf swing. We're gonna look at two key things here. When do you release the golf club? So you've got to think of that as squaring the face. And also, how do we get the right swing path through the hip? Just four simple stages that you've got to do. And I promise your swing will feel more natural and you'll feel you've got more power. Now the idea is actually just this. If I asked you to throw your golf club into the net, right? What would you do? Well, I guarantee that you would throw it and it would hit straight in here, okay? So if I just do this slowly, I don't want you to throw the club by the way, you would throw it and release it straight into here, just like that. I guarantee you wouldn't make that move where you swing over the top. I guarantee you wouldn't make that move where you throw it to the right of the net. You would throw it dead straight. So throwing it dead straight is controlling our path. So we're throwing the club correctly and we're releasing it at the right point. Because if I let go too early, the club would finish way off to the right. And if I let go too late, so left my face way open, I didn't release it, I would throw it all the way over here, right? So you can really understand that a simple mechanics and just using our brain, creating a natural golf swing in this way is really gonna give me some more power. So, I mean, watch me hit this away. I literally have that idea just here like this, just that idea. Now, as I say, I've got four simple stages for you to do to allow you to bring this into your swing, but I've got to show you this first. Look at this. So I've got seven iron in my hand. I just hit that 168 with very little effort using this method. You could add 10 to 15 yards doing just this. But before that, you might be thinking, Alex, why are we talking about throwing the club? Well, simply, we've had loads of questions here on the channel when I go through the comments personally on how do I square the face? When do I release the club? How do I control my swing path? All really complicated stuff. So I just thought we'd make a simple method for you to follow and integrate into your swing. And to get involved, dead easy, subscribe, turn the bell, and turn the bell because you don't want to miss me answering your question. Just pop your query down below in the comments. Stage number one. We just gotta grab some golf balls and throw them away. Learn from what your body is saying. So let me just paint some scenarios. I mean, the ideal scenario is that we grab it and we throw it and it goes dead straight. And I release it and let it go where it goes directly down the middle. But let's paint some scenarios here. If I throw it and leave it and I miss the net to the right, I've clearly come too inside. If I come over the top and throw it way left, I've clearly come over the top. So we've got to really get ourselves back on that equilibrium. And the way to do this at stage number one is glove hand out in front of you. Try and keep it around sort of shoulder height. So you're gonna get into golf posture and raise your arm. We're gonna stand here, move back, throw, and really get the idea of releasing that club or releasing that ball around here. So your arms, that gauge, your arm also makes you move correctly in this manner. So stage number one, keep this nice and natural. Keep this flowing, keep relaxed, and just try and throw at least three golf balls directly straight into this place, okay? Now you'll notice that net made no noise at all when I was hitting and when I'm doing this drill, dead easy, and it comes straight back. But I really want you to focus on what I said. This motion, this motion at stage number one. Now, for stage number two, I just want to break down what my forearm does slightly. And to do this, just do this for me. Forearm out in front of you and just grab it around here. So if I just come a little closer, look where I've grabbed it here. Sort of my thumb in where I sort of the crease and elbow underneath. So I'm going to just practice palm under to palm over. Palm under to palm over. Now the reason why I hold this point I'm not doing this. I'm not losing my elbow. I'm really feeling, I'm releasing that club at stage two, which was essentially, this is what you do with the club in your hand or with the golf ball in your hand, which is essentially the golf club anyway. That feeling of my forearm doing the release, not my elbow and not just my wrist. I get that feeling of doing it as a unit. 
We're already two stages into this, so let's get into the final two. Stage number three, just before we start hitting some golf balls and start getting that distance I showed you at the start of the video, is this. We're going to grab our golf club where our hands are around shoulder width apart. Now the idea is as we th learn to throw, we throw and put the power in the right place. So we're gonna swing down and bring these hands together. I wanna stop you essentially throwing this weight and throwing this power out all before the golf ball because that creates this horrible little chicken wing and all in the right area. So we're gonna stand here, split grip, swing it back, stay relaxed, let it go. And what I really recommend is just keep flowed with this. Please try for me between six to 10 reps. If I just do this really slowly, this stage is just working the club in, release. And this is really getting us into the final part of this video where we start to hit some gold balls. Look at where I'm throwing that club. So at stage number three, it might sound bizarre, it might sound strange, this title might sound strange, but I'm really getting you to find your natural swing again. So the final stage, and this is a concept that I swear by and something that I practice probably at least once or twice every time I go and hit some golf balls. And as I say, do this 30 seconds a day, you will become a different golfer. I have the idea that I want to be throwing so when my arms are extended, a foot after the golf ball. And that is the honest only swing thought that I have in my swing right now to get that elusive great ball striking. So let me show you. Stay nice and relaxed and just throw. Just throw through here. It's the speed I unlock. I just don't get, it just, it's got even further. It's just the speed I unlock. Now, if you just look at that slow-mo there, you can really see I was relaxed. I was moving through smoothly, but I was throwing after the golf ball, releasing in the correct point. But I've only done that working through each of those four stages, or actually three stages, to get to stage four, where I have that speed, I have that power, and I have seven iron distance, just like that. Now, that's something that I'm not like so shocked with because I've got and built this into my swing and I know you can do this too. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel here, Alex Elliott Golf, for free simple golf tips that are honestly powered by you.